Hey guys, this is Chris from Empire Bricks and welcome to Building Jedi Week 4. I'm really happy with the progress until now. I know it seems a little bit like nothing happened, but I can tell you a lot happened. There is now over two and a half thousand bricks in this mock. Um, and I am, I think, past halfway now, um, but I, <laughs> I might underestimate it. Um, so yeah, I've worked a lot on the rock. Uh, I did a little bit on the city, as you can see. And I'm also on the side looking for a, a Star Destroyer to uh, come above the city. I already made sort of a deal. It's not in yet, but um, I hope to be able to tell you more soon. So without further ado, let's have a look at the mock. So last time I showed you guys the mock, it was uh, this part that was finished, this quarter of the of the mock, and um, I wasn't really happy with the dark tan that was mixed in between throughout the wall. So I took those out, I moved them all to the lower part, so that the lower part looks a little bit more like rock and the upper part looks a little bit more like a wall. So um, that's what's changed, I basically replaced every cheese slope that there was in tan with dark tan and move some of the dark tan from here to there and finish that all the way around as you can see over here it's the same thing and that was just one quarter um, so after that I put the bricks that I got to use and I built another quarter of the wall or the, the yeah, what is it? The, the rock that the city is built upon. So you can see these, um, yeah, they, they stick out a little bit. It's it's definitely man-made. If you look in the movie, you can see that there's a lot of them on the side. So I made it a, a little bit less because it was pretty heavy it, because of the skill. But I think it turned out pretty okay. Um, I did this, this quarter only had one of these and it was a little bit empty because it's all flat brick so I added a half one I might do that a little bit more places just to you know add a little bit more detail but I'm really happy with the next quarter that I built and with the bricks that I had I already started on the third there's the brick separator over there so um, I think that with the next order because what I'm missing is mostly one by two ten bricks uh, with the next order I'll order about 200 more of those. Um, I think I could finish this third quarter and maybe the fourth here and then see where the wall exactly ends so I can order a little bit more of the tan plates, cover it all up and start with the city, which I actually did. Um, I tried to make a start with how the, the micro scale city of Jeddah would look like so I started with a um, street pattern in dark tan plates, that is, and tried to make it a little bit random, but not overlap the the borders of the uh, modules, because as you can see, it is a modular mock. It comes, these two, these two are now linked together, so I'll, I'll keep it that way. But the idea is that you can take it apart pretty easily, so you can transport it. Because I'm thinking of taking it to an event, but I'm not sure yet. So it's it's modular, but that means that the streets have to stop at the edge. So I'm still looking for a way to make that happen. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the, the overall look of the city. Um, so as you can see, there is a few TIE fighters flying around. These are still on the clear studs. They will be replaced with... Uh, clear bars or something else a little bit less visible than this but for the time being it gives a good idea what it looks like to have them flying around I made a landing platform there's a TIE fighter on it now there will be two of those one here and one somewhere over here and maybe a third for a micro scale uh, cargo transport so the really iconic cargo transports from the Rogue One movie um, They'll be around the city too, so I made some landing platforms. Um, yeah, so you'll be able to, able to see them in the city. So for the buildings, I'm just kind of randomly putting together 
um, bricks and slopes and stuff to make it look like the organized mess that the city of Jeddah is. Now, um, in my last video, I think I asked for suggestions and I think it was um, Master Builder who said that I should add the uh, Jabba's Palace uh, to the mock. Now, obviously, this one is on Jeddah, not on Tatooine, so I, it's, it's not completely correct. But then I remembered that in the advent calendar of 2016, there was a micro-scale Jabba's Palace. So as a little Easter egg, Master Builder, I added it to the city. It's over here. It's... Uh, it blends in pretty well, uh, but yeah, it, it actually looks great. It makes it for a funny story. It's it's nice to have it in. So thank you for the suggestion. If anybody has more suggestions or ideas, please let me know. I, I read all the comments. I try to do something with them, so, you know, bring it. Um, so yeah, that's the city. I've got six TIE Fighters now, two micro-scale cargo ships will be there, and... Uh, the Star Destroyer will be here. I made a decision it will be the uh, 75055 set, the newer one, simply because it falls apart less easy. And I'm just afraid that when it's above and something happens and it falls, that it will be all over the place. And the newer version is just a little bit more sturdy. So let me see what happened. Um, yeah, I filled in a lot of the space around, which I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with that space. Maybe some small rocks or... I'm not sure. Uh, any ideas are welcome. I do like the uneven edge. It gives uh, the whole thing the look as if it is from a bigger scene. And I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to continue doing that on the other side. I'm almost finished with all the plates because this one is only a really small part that's missing. Um, oh, yeah. And there is a an extra wall around the city. So... I made a start with that. It's like this. It will come up a little bit higher. And um, yeah, it's, it should simulate the wall around the city. I'm going to fill in all the um, the plates with the street pattern and then with buildings and stuff. And then over here, there will be the um, Temple of Kyber. Not entirely sure how I'm going to do that. I think in the first or second episode, I made a, um, yeah, a little experimental build about that. But wasn't really happy with that, so I broke it up and put the pieces in the mock because that's where I needed them. Um, so I'm still working on a new design for that. But uh, yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, it's going to be awesome, I think, uh, if it's finished. The size is, is perfect. I've measured it. It's about 50 centimeters. The Star Destroyer set 75055 is a little bit bigger, which is exactly what it should be. Um, as in the movie so yeah I think it's going to turn out great but um, I'm not entirely sure when the next update will come I hope it will be next Wednesday but it might be the weekend after that you know just because of the bricklink ordering that I need to do and the waiting for the orders because by now I really have to count how much I need from each brick and then you know try to order them pretty smart from a vendor and then get them for cheap because there's already two and a half thousand bricks in it and by the looks of it, it will be at least four by the time I'm finished. So, yeah, trying to save some money there. So, that's it, guys. Um, I hope you liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm really welcoming your suggestions, so let me know what you think. And see you at part five.